Hello, my name is Stephanie. I work at Interhex study in Bulgaria and we help students apply to Bulgarian universities. In the following video, I'll talk about apartments, especially apartments for students at Sofia Medical University. But even if you're a foreigner who's looking to move to Sofia, Bulgaria, you might, you might find some of the information that I say useful. I'll talk about rent, um, real estate agents, preferred neighborhoods, types of apartments, um, landlords, contracts, etc. So I hope you find the video useful. To start with, uh, I would like to emphasize that Sofia Medical University is located in the city center of Sofia, right next to uh, a famous sightseeing place called the National Palace of Culture, or shortly NDK. Keep in mind that because the university is in the city center, the prices are also very expensive and it's very hard to find an apartment because most buildings are actually for offices. And of course, there are some buildings where you can live, but the price and the rent will be very expensive because everybody wants to live in the city center. But the main advantage about the university being located in the city center is that there are plenty of public transport options for you, like trams, trolley, buses, etc. So even if you don't live right next to the university, you'll be able to reach it very quickly and you have many options to do that. Public transportation in Sofia is in general very, very cheap. So one-way ticket is uh, around 80 cents and a monthly card for all lines with student discount is around 12 euro. When it comes to types of apartments, I will mention four points. The first option where you can live is one bedroom apartment. This means that you have everything for yourself. You have a bedroom, usually kitchen and living room are together and a bathroom. The second option is two bedroom apartment, which means that uh, you probably share with another student. Uh, in this case, you have two separate bedrooms. In most cases, only one bathroom, but it is possible to find an apartment with two bathrooms as well. And again, kitchen and living room may be together. Um, so like the, the main advantage of sharing, of course, is sharing bills and also having company all the time because you can uh, share uh, studying uh, time together. Of course, you can also find three, four bedrooms, etc. apartment, meaning all of you guys will share like um, one kitchen and a living room and maybe uh, one or two bathrooms. And then usually each one, uh, each student has a separate bedroom. Uh, keep in mind that uh, more than two bedrooms in one apartment, so meaning three bedroom or four bedroom apartment, is rather hard to find. Most apartments in Sofia are actually for one or for two people. However, it is possible, so don't worry. Of course, another option is to live in the student dormitory of the University of Sofia Medical University. Keep in mind that you can apply for a spot at the dormitory only after you're officially admitted as a student. This means around October time. Keep in mind that the, the dormitory is located also far away from the university, around 40 minutes by bus, and usually local students live there. Um, these are the main two reasons why people prefer to live in the city center in one or in two bedroom apartment and um, just being closer to the university and to other international students. When it comes to furniture, most apartments in Sofia are definitely furnished. This means when you go on apartment viewing, the chance that you go in an empty apartment is really, really, really low. Uh, so, and usually most international students prefer to live in new buildings where, where everything is brand new. Um, so this comes with a higher rent price, of course. Um, so local students and Bulgarians are fine with living like with old, to, in old buildings, maybe with an old entrance and old furniture, so the rent will be lower there. It's really a personal choice, uh, but keep in mind that if you want everything to be very modern and very new in the apartment, you have to pay a higher rent. If something is missing in the apartment and you feel like you need it, so for instance a dishwasher, a microwave, etc., uh, you might speak with the landlord on uh, during the apartment viewing, discuss if uh, they're willing to buy that for you, if you, of course, pay for it, um, and hopefully they agree to do that. Of course, apartments also have everything that you need. So, for instance, a washing machine, oven, uh, even most of them have a TV, etc. So, this is nothing to worry about. Also, I would love to talk about prices. A friend. Uh, so if you want to live right next to the university, meaning walking distance, in a private apartment, be prepared to pay around maybe even 500 euro a month. 
Uh, this is again a te uh, because the, the university is located in the city center, uh, so the prices are very expensive. And again, this is for really, really nice modern flat. Um, if you share an apartment with somebody, meaning to go for a two bedroom apartment, the price can be lower. So maybe like 350 or even 400, but it really, it's, uh, it comes to your luck as well. If you don't live right next to the university, so around 10, 15, 20 minutes by public transportation, of course you pay uh, less, meaning uh, if you want to live in a private apartment, uh, be prepared to pay 350 euro maybe a month or even 400. It really depends uh, again on the location, on um, how big the apartment is, etc. But again, it's valid if you share if if you share with somebody, it will be cheaper. Keep in mind that rent price usually does not include bills. If you want to know how much usually the bills are, you can discuss this during the apartment viewing with the landlord. When you move into an apartment and you sign a contract, you have to pay the first month rent and also deposit. The deposit usually equals, again, one month rent and is used if you break something in the apartment, um, so the landlord covers the costs. And uh, keep in mind that if the apartment is very new, very modern, etc., etc., you might have to pay even two deposits, but it, this depends entirely on the landlord. I think this is something that you can negotiate on. When it comes to neighborhoods in Sofia, I know it may seem very, very uh, new to you, but don't worry. First, Google Maps does a really good job with showing the different neighborhoods around the university. But now I'll also tell you the names of some of the neighborhoods where most students live in. I'll also mention the names in the description below because you might not understand them because they're in Bulgarian language. So to start with, uh, most students prefer to live, of course, right next to the university. The neighborhoods around the university are called Center, uh, Medicinska Academia, which is Medical Academy, Ivan Vazov, Hippodromo, and Krivo Reka. If you live in these uh, neighborhoods, it's very likely that you don't need public transportation to reach the university. The second most famous option among students who study at Sofia Medical University uh, are the neighborhoods along Tram 7 and along Bulgaria Boulevard. Uh, these include Stelbište, Gotsedelchev, Borovo, Motopista, Belite Brezi, and also Manastirski Ivahi. The best thing about Tram 7 is that it has mm, its own line, so you'll never be stuck, stuck in traffic. Also, it's very fast, so even if you live uh, in the most distant neighborhood, which is Monastirsky Livadi, you will have to spend 20 minutes maximum in the tram to reach the university. The third option is along Tram 5, which is along um, Sarburi Streti Boulevard, King Buri the third, and this includes neighborhoods like uh, Hippodroma, Buxton, Krasnoselu, and Lager. Um, keep in mind that uh, this tram does not take you directly to the university, it's closer to the dental faculty. So once you get off the tram, you might need another 10 minutes uh, to walk to the university. But uh, actually the rents around this play, uh, around, around this line are cheaper because of course most people want to live along tram 7, the second option. Uh, so the rents there are slightly more expensive. The fourth option for students, uh, which is I think less famous, but uh, maybe that will change in the following years. This is um, living next to the metro line, which heads to Vitusha Mountain and Paradise Mall. This includes neighborhoods like Lozenitz, um, Hladionica and Yuzhen Park. Uh, the best thing is that these neighborhoods are really like two, three stations away from the university. The university's metro station is called National Palace of Culture. This is the nearest one so far, but you see in a bit what I mean by that. So from the National Palace of Culture metro station to the university, it takes around 10, 15 minutes walk. So the fifth option, which is very convenient, uh, I think for future students, is the new metro line that is currently being built and it will pass the university. Um, the new metro station that is right next to the university will be called Medicinska Academia, so Medical Academy. And the, the line will go to Krasno Selu um, neighborhood, uh, which is where Tram 5 is, so the third option. But it also goes direction the National Stadium Vasil Levski. 
So I think um, if you choose to live in these two areas, you'll be also very good to go. When it comes to working with real estate agents, I would definitely say that students in Bulgaria, especially foreign students, but also locals as me, uh, use the services of real estate agents to find an apartment. So they'll organize apartment viewings for you that are suitable. They'll sort out the contracts for you, speak with the landlord, negotiate if needed, etc. But they're also the people who you can count on later on if there is a problem, for instance, with the landlord. So make sure you keep a like, good relation with the real estate agent. Unfortunately, there are many fake ads on the internet, so you should really uh, maybe discuss with your friends in Bulgaria uh, who is a trustworthy real estate agent, uh, because sometimes if you call a random ad, uh, like a random person on the internet, they can tell you, oh, this is no longer available, but let me show you something else. And then they try to show you something or they might charge you too much for it, etc. So it's better to use somebody, the services of a real estate agent, who you know, they'll do the job for you. We at Interhex, we also help our students find an apartment, so they shouldn't worry about it. What I can advise you is to make sure that you view the apartment yourself. So um, once you're here in Sofia, uh, you can take a look at the apartments. It's good to see it yourself because you can see the neighborhood. Photos do not show the whole apartment. So uh, of course they'll show the best parts of the apartment and this is why you see it yourself, you see the neighborhood yourself, you see the entrance yourself and then you make a decision. Some estate agents offer also online video call so that they can show you an apartment if you, if you don't live in Sofia. Uh, but again, I would recommend this option only if you're, if you're sure that the real estate, agent, real estate agent is trustworthy. Of course, this, um, of course, real estate agents also require a fee. This is usually between 50 and 100% of the first month rent. This is only one time fee and it's used again uh, for them to organize your apartment viewings, to negotiate with the landlord, to prepare the contracts, but also to have so that you have somebody to rely on while you're here. I would advise you to request a receipt uh, from uh, the, re the real estate agents and also to never pay anything in advance, only pay only when the contract is done and uh, you're, you're ready to move in. Now talk about landlords and contracts. My main advice for international students in Bulgaria is to look for an apartment where the landlord speaks English. Of course, if they speak only Bulgarian language, the real estate agents will translate for you. But in the future, if you have a problem, if you have a question, etc., and you want to discuss it with the landlord, it might be a problem. So, of course, the best option is to look for somebody who speaks English. Keep in mind that if you have a pet and if you're looking for an apartment, it might be harder for you to find an apartment because usually landlords are not very keen on having a tenant with a pet uh, because of allergies, smell, etc., etc. So, if you find an apartment, it's very likely that the landlord might require even to deposit because of, because of any damage that the pet can do in the apartment. Another important thing is that Sofia is a capital city. So apartments are not like this really. So when you go for an apartment viewing, keep in mind that there are probably at least 10, 20, 30 people looking at the same apartment and meeting the landlord. So this is why it's good to leave a good first impression, like don't uh, negotiate too much, like um, introduce yourself, tell them something about yourself, etc. So that, um, uh, yes, uh, they get impressed and maybe they choose you. Another thing I advise you to discuss during the apartment viewing with the landlord is that in the future he or she will have to sign a declaration for you, which you have to present to the migration office in Sofia. Meaning, according to law, all foreigners in Bulgaria must have a residence permit. Um, and for this residence permit, to apply, you need a copy of your contract and one declaration by your landlord where he states that, where he or she states that you live in their apartment and that you pay rent for it, etc. It is good to discuss this in advance. Uh, because uh, you might move in and then in two months you tell them, okay, I need this and they're like, oh, no, no, no. So better be clear on that before you move in and before you sign a contract or you pay a rent. Of course, when it comes to the contract, I definitely advise you to um, have a Bulgarian part of the contract and English one so that you understand what you sign. Read through the contract very carefully. Uh, make sure that all points are included. Make sure that you have really have nothing against 
anything written in the contract and that you're allowed to move up with one month notice. This means, for instance, you don't like the neighbors or, for instance, you get to know another student at the university, you want to move out, etc. So it's important to be flexible and to make sure that the contract states that you can move out at any point that you want, but with a month, one month notice. Keep in mind that when you sign a contract, you also have to sign a protocol for what you uh, have in the apartment, if it's damaged or not, so that when you move out, the landlord doesn't claim you stole something or you broke something. Finally, I would like to say uh, when you should start looking for an apartment. Uh, of course, most students prefer to look for an apartment when they're here for the entry exam uh, at Sofia Medical University because usually the exam takes place in the capital city around September time. Um, so, of course, uh, most students prefer to find an apartment when accept, uh, acceptance at the university is already confirmed, meaning around September. Keep in mind that uh, usually this is the time uh, where students from everywhere, not just uh, um, from your country, but also from different countries and from Bulgaria itself, move to Sofia because most universities are in Sofia and most students, most universities start in September or October, not just Sofia Medical University, but Sofia University, New Bulgarian University, Technical University, etc. So uh, there is a rather shortage of apartments in September. You have to pay more if you want to find an apartment then, but then the main benefit for you is then you're sure that you're paying rent and then you live in the apartment. What I mean is that you can of course start looking earlier, but then you don't have the guarantee that uh, yeah, you have to pay the rent. When you sign a contract, you can't say to the landlord, hey, I want to rent it, but not now, but in three months. So, as I said, there are many people looking for a flat every day. So the landlord will not be keen on giving you and waiting for you to get a spot at the university. Um, so uh, some students do get an apartment earlier because it's, uh, it's um, possible to find a cheaper apartment in the summer months. Uh, however, if you pay a rent, then keep in mind that the landlord will not return the fee, uh, the rent to you in case you don't get the spot in September. Because of any reason. <laughs> uh, so, the best uh, option, of course, is to find an apartment that will be available in September, October, but you find it in summer, so you put a deposit to. So, to reserve the apartment, but keep in mind this is not an option that is usually uh, very easy to find. Uh, but if you decide to look for an apartment earlier, I definitely advise you to discuss with the landlord if, uh, yeah, what will happen if you don't get the spot. Will he be, will he be willing to return the deposit? Uh, will you have to pay the rent at the end of the year, etc., etc. So again, uh, of course, I understand that most students want to look for an apartment in September once they are officially accepted. Uh, but it doesn't hurt. It's uh, it's also possible to look earlier if you want to find a cheaper apartment. But then keep in mind the main disadvantage that you have to pay rent for months where you're not even in Bulgaria, like July and August. A last thing that I want to mention uh, and actually repeat again is that apartments in Sofia are taken very quickly. So uh, if you like, there is no point in looking for an apartment six months before the start of the semester because what you even look now or today will not be available tomorrow. So um, you can start looking for an apartment like a couple of weeks before you know that you want to sign a contract. And as I said, there are many other people looking for an apartment. So it's very likely that when you go on a part for an apartment viewing, there are 20 people coming after you to visit the apartment as well. So make sure you good, uh, leave, uh, leave a good impression and also uh, make sure you take uh, fast decisions. So if you like an apartment, don't think about it too much. Don't wait for weeks because the landlord, if they have many other people applying to get the apartment um, or willing to take the apartment, um, the, uh, he will not wait for you most likely. I hope you found this video useful. In the description down below, I'll mention the most important parts I have uh, included in the video. And if you have any questions that maybe something I didn't talk about, etc., just ask me down below in the comment section and I'll be happy to help. See you in Sofia.